Disney Lobby. Yay! So I'll see that Minnie Mouse over there. And she's kind of sleeping. Okay, so this means on me, so I'm about to show you all something. You're going to read a book to them? Yeah. Good night. And the name of it is called Corduroy Takes a Bow. Oh, uh, yeah. Say I, it. Corduroy Takes a Bow. Good this. job. We're going to read together, okay? Okay. I was just now looking to this book. Okay. What is what this thing? We'll read that later. That's just a dedication. So... It was just starting to snow when Lisa and her mother got off the bus in front of the theater. Lisa held corduroy right, I mean tight, as they walked up the steps. <laughs> what do you say? Repeat that again. She had never been to a big theater like this before. She had never been to a big theater. 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 Like this before. Like this. Stop. Before. Neither had corduroy. Repeat after me. Neither had corduroy. Neither had corduroy. They had to come see. They had to come see. A performance of Mother Goose Rhymes. A performance of Mother Goose Rhymes. Good job. That's too bright. Mm -hmm. Can you back up a little bit, please? In the lobby, people were picking up tickets. <laughs> Ushers handed out programs. Okay. And a brass chandler hung from the ceiling that was painted with clouds. Okay. Suddenly, the lights flickered on and off. That means the play will start in a few minutes. We should find our seats, said Lisa's mother. Lisa held her mother's hand a little tighter and held corduroy a little closer. Like this. Yeah. The usher took their tickets and showed them where to sit. The seats are so soft, says, said Lisa. She put corduroy on her lap and looked through the program. I, I should do it. Okay, good job. Right before the play started, a very tall man sat down in front of Lisa. You see that tall guy? We're not on that page yet. Mommy, Lisa whispered to her mother, I can't see. Here, dear, said the mother. We can fold our coats together and you can sit on top of them. When Lisa like stood this? up to sit on the coats, the orchestra started to play. She forgot all about Corduroy. He slipped off her lap and fell underneath the seats in front of them. See Corduroy? I read the uh, original Corduroy when I was a little girl. How he did that? <laughs> Look. Now I can't see anything, said Corduroy. Maybe if I get closer to the music, I could see the stage. He peeked down the aisle and saw some stairs. That's Corduroy on the floor. When Corduroy got when Corduroy got to the top of the step, the big red curtain went up. When Corduroy and up, got and up. The, top of the, step, the up. big red curtain. The big red curtain went up and up and up. It up, it up, it up. Corduroy was so startled. Corduroy was so startled. That he lost his balance. That he lost his balance. And tumbled into the orchestra pit. And tumbled into the orchestra pit. He looked around at all the musicians and thought, This is a good spot to hear the music. But now I can't see the stage at all. Can you see the stage? No, I need glasses. <laughs> at the back of the orchestra, there was a tall set of drums. 
Castle. Maybe if I sat up there, I would have a better view, he thought. Quietly, he crawled through the orchestra, past feet, between instrument cases and around music stands toward the drums. You see him? Yeah. Look at him. How did you get there? I'm sorry. How did you get here, little fellow? The drummer whispered to Corduroy. You must be a prop from the play. Someone will be looking for you. He put Corduroy up on this, the ledge behind the drums. <sighs> Milan acting like she's so sleepy. But do you want me to read a book so I'm going to finish the book tonight? There was a chair off to one side behind the curtain. I could see better from there, thought Corduroy. But before he got to the chair, a stagehand tripped on him. Sorry, Bear, said the stagehand. He put Corduroy on the table with the other props. The table was hard, not like Lisa's soft seat in the theater. All right. Backstage was very busy. Actors were coming and going. Backstage was were really busy. Actors uh, were coming and going. Were coming and going to get some dresses. <laughs> Changing costumes. Changing costumes. And getting their props. Changing costumes and getting their props. One actor almost grabbed Corduroy. One actor almost grabbed Corduroy. I should find a safer spot, he decided. I should find a safety spot, he decided. And he hid between the costumes. And he hid between the costumes. Good job. This is safe, he thought. This is safe, he thought. But I'll never see anything from here. But I'll never see anything from here. Yeah. There was three, no, there was a tree with a basket in its branches in the wing off to one side of the stage. I would be able to see from there, Corduroy then, thought. And then they're going to think that, there was a, that that's a baby. Oh, they think that? That's what they're going to think? Yeah. And he climbed up the tree and into the basket. Well, thought Corduroy, this is more like it. Not too high, not too low. This is just right. He settled in and watched the Mother Goose performance. I love the theater, said Corduroy. Mm -hmm. After a number of different scenes, the stage manager called out, Final scene, everyone. Take your places. Stage hands quickly moved new scenery onto the stage while the actors went to stand in position. Sorry, what's the first part? Let's do this, huh? Suddenly, Corduroy's tree... Suddenly, Corduroy tree began moving right onto the stage. Began moving right on and onto on on the stage. Onto the stage, and this is the stage. Then it started to grow. Then it started to grow. Up, up, up went the tree. Up, up, up went the tree. The basket and corduroy. The basket and corduroy. 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 <laughs> this is a very tall tree, said corduroy. Wait, wait. Hmm? Is, is, is the little girl going to worry about her? Yeah, we will see what happens as we finish, okay? What she said. As he looked down at the stage far below... The tall tree made him think of all the tall men. I mean, make him think of the tall man who sat in front of Lisa. Corduroy wondered, how will I get back into Lisa? <laughs> I'm messing up. How will I get back to Lisa if I'm up in this tree? Jump down. You think he'll jump down? On the stage below, Mother Goose started to sing. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Go ahead. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the wind blows, the cradle will block. Rock. Rock. 
off stage a fan blew air into the branches of the tree the cradle began to rock back and forth up and down back and forth and up and down corduroy was getting dizzy he held on to the sides of the cradle as it rocked faster and faster <gasps> do you think he's gonna be scared yeah mother goose kept singing when the bow breaks the cradle will fall when a bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Everybody put their hands up and catch her when he had a fall. Okay. <laughs> and crack, the bow did break. And down will come baby and cradle and all. Now will come baby. And cradle and all. Who's going to catch the baby? Whoever catch the baby, they keeping it. Finders keepers. Okay. Down, down, down came Corduroy. Cradle and all. He's going to catch it. You think so? Yeah. Before Corduroy knew what was happening, Mother Goose scooped him up from the curtain crap. I mean, it's from the curtain call. The audience clapped as the actors bowed. Corduroy bowed too. He said. After the curtain call, the cast took Corduroy backstage to the dressing room. Who does this bear belong to, they wondered. Is it yours, Milan? Yeah. <laughs> the usher brought Lisa back. Corduroy, there you are, said Lisa. How did you get on stage? I couldn't see, and I wanted to get a little closer said corduroy wait so who is corduroy this is corduroy the teddy bear and this is lisa and this is her mom so so that's her teddy bear mm -hmm. Excuse so me. that's not not the girl no more that's, that's this is the girl this is the little girl who corduroy was with but remember when she was sitting down and he fell out of the chair so he couldn't see so he went all through the stage and everything trying to find a good seat Oh, Corduroy, said Lisa, you certainly got closer. The very next day, Lisa made a theater just for Corduroy. He could see everything from a nice, safe spot. This is Corduroy and Lisa. And that is the end of the story, you guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. Good night. And tell them don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Turn on the notification bell. Give us a big thumbs up. Give us a big thumbs up. And comment down below. <laughs> hey, get this word. Get this that. She threw a book at the camera. <laughs>